Arrgh! And now it's time for how to be a pirate coming from Dead Skull's pub! Arrgh! 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 Greetings, me mateys! Black Dog Bill, some call me! The only one they're drunk, because my real name is Howard. And I'm here to teach you how to be a pirate! Isn't that right, boys? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah they love me. Today, we're gonna be looking at... Oi patches. An oi patch is a great thing for a pirate to have, because it shows you that you lost an eye, preferably in battle. It doesn't have to be in battle, though. It can be through many another way. Like, you were combing your eyelashes with a fork, trying to smell the fart of a porcupine, putting on a contact with a flamethrower, those sorts of various ways. Isn't that right, Brian? Don't make eye contact with me. Ah, you twat. Keeper of a lot of secrets as well. I don't want to give away too much, but let's just say he goes from a Mr. Potato Head to a Mrs. Potato Head pretty quickly. Now, there's been some controversy about wearing an eye patch, especially if you haven't lost an eye. Well, that's just pussy pansy pathetic. Pirates need to lose an eye. They see the world in an entirely different manner, in that they only see half of it. And for all of those crying, I don't want to lose an eye, for crying out loud, you have another one. That's why God gave you two. Am I not right, Angela? Get a job, you creep! Ah, you bitchsicle. Though to her credit, she is hot as an oven. In case of impotence, 9 out of 10 doctors recommend her. But so many people bitch and moan about losing their eye, like it's unhealthy or something. Come on! Millions of Americans lose it to laser eye surgery every day! But not me! I lost me eye fighting a grizzly bear! And a squid! A grizzly squid! He took out me eye with his tentacle teeth! Don't believe me? Just ask McMasters. Isn't that right, McMasters? You look like a child molester! I hope you die of cancer! Bloody pervert. He'll sleep with anything that can drink, Mickey. Now there are some disadvantages to only having one eye. For example, glasses won't work. You can't look at magic eye pictures anymore. Hypnotism only works half the time. And it's virtually impossible to wink. But needless to say, it still looks cool. I recommend everybody to lose their eye at least once. Twice and you'll be blind. And probably retarded. Not a good combo. Now I know what you're saying. Black Dog Bill, you didn't lose that eye. I can so clearly see it under your eye patch. Well, mine grew back. It's that rare eye-popping back disease that only I have. It's my cross to bear. Right, Allison? You smell like a sewer. Ah, you cock magnet. Woman so boring, she's put more people to sleep than a Catholic church. Derg! They act like they hate me, but in reality, they love me. For I know the stories of Bloodbeard Joe. Bloodbeard Joe? I know that catch I know that catch <laughs> Shall I tell you the stories of Bloodbeard Joe? <laughs> They say Bloodbeard Joe is so intimidating that even his own beard has a wanted poster. <laughs> they say Bloodbeard Joe is so deadly that he's killed more people than any religion. Hooray! They say he's so infamous that he shoots lightning out his nostrils and pisses lasers out his jumps. <laughs> they say every time one of Bloodbeard Joe's men dies in battle, he raises them from the grave and kills them himself just to teach them not to be so incompetent. <laughs> they say he used one of King Kong's testicles as a basketball. <laughs> Bloodbeard Joe is so incredible that Chuck Norris makes up facts about him. <laughs> They say that Bloodbeard Joe keeps his cannonballs in his pants, so you can guess what his cannon is. <laughs> his penis. They say Bloodbeard Joe was twice the man he ever was. That's a good thing! <laughs> Bloodbeard Joe is so mighty that when all the members of the X-Men tried to fight him, he melded them all together like a human centipede! Yeah, yeah, yeah I know. That movie was gross. And I know that Bloodbeard Joe got to America first just to piss Christopher Columbus off! <laughs> so everybody raise a glass to Bloodbeard Joe. He may not be God. Oh wait, yes he is. <laughs> Join me next time for How to Be a Pirate. See you soon. This was How to Be a Pirate, the greatest show that ever... Yark. This thing really just fucking broke. <laughs>